Anyway, let's go. All right, talk about Puerto Rico. How do you think you played, personally? Um, personally, I thought I played okay. Um, like I said, I'm keep harping on the defense and the rebounds. Mm -hmm. You know, I got to go up. Last game, I had a few more defense than I defensive rebounds that I usually had, but just got to make an effort to keep going. Were you shocked that the teams didn't W maybe as much as you thought they were going to? Man, I, don't, I mean, like I said, we've seen it all defensively, so I wasn't really shocked. I mean. If they want to play me, man, that's fine. Like, I'm not going to complain. Right. Or I'm not going to say anything. I'm going to be like, oh, all right, well, well thanks. Nice. Thanks very much. From a matchup standpoint, was Puerto Rico a pretty good test? Because you had one team playing zone, one playing man, one going crazy up tempo. Yeah, I mean, we got a little bit of everything. I mean, Northeastern, I mean, we didn't play as well as we wanted to. But I mean, that was, you know, kind of a tournament game, playing maybe a team that was a lower seed. And, you know, they outplayed us in the second half. And then Kansas State was a game. We had to bounce back from, you know, playing the next day and play good defense in VCU. I mean, you can ask any of those guys, I and mean, that game was so long with the fouls and how they run up and down and how they push the ball and, you know, makes and misses, and it was a good win for us. So it was a good test, those three games. Speaking of those fouls, have, are you and the team getting a better feel for what uh, officials are calling and what they're not, or is it just it's any given early. night? It's any given night. I mean, yeah. I feel like we won't really get a rhythm until, you know, we get in the Big East plays and then we start seeing refs that we're familiar with. And then that plays into, okay, I remember him from, you know, when we right. played so-and-so, and he called us so-and-so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah. we're still trying to get a feel and just trying not to foul. But, I mean, every game we've been into, it's, it's either us or the other team. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. I said, the VCU game, it flip-flopped. And it just, you know, made the second half longer than what it should have been. Exactly, yeah. Um, in, in general, how did you feel coming out of a three-game and four-day stretch? I felt good. Yeah. Um, like I said, it's... It brought me back, you know, the, like AAU days and all that. And, you know, we, like I said, I didn't know how I was going to feel before, but I mean, the VCU for the last game, I mean, you know, we gave it everything we got and we pulled out with a win and, you know, we felt good coming back. So just making up for that first loss. Your minutes have been uh, a bit up and down this year. What do you kind of uh, attribute that to? And how, how many minutes do you think at this point you can go if, you know? Um, like I said, it's all up to coach and matchups, really. I mean, I remember the VCU game, you know, playing eight minutes into the second half, and then, you know, just going with matchups, going with smaller guys with foul trouble. And like I said, Coach Thompson makes the rotations. He puts people in, and I'm not going to complain. I mean, I'm starting. I like the minutes I'm playing right now. But I feel like I can play a little more. You know, we'll see as soon as the season goes on. But I'd probably say it's all strategic matchups. And now you guys have to 